guys, uh, Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio and today's riff we're going to go over is the main riff to um, Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. And um, <clears throat> so I'll play it for you one time through or a couple times through and then give you some pointers. <laughs> For each grouping of four notes, you're going to um, try to let all those notes ring together as part of a chord. So the first chord is an A5 chord held with your first and second fingers. And uh, by the way, the tabs are uh, linked to the video. Open up the tabs so you can refer to what I'm talking about here. So the first four notes uh, are open, two, two, and then you lift to get that last open G. So. It's really for that one, it's only the first three notes that are going to uh, ring together because you have to lift to get that open string. And the picking is going to be down, 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 and up, like that. Alright, the next, the next chord is a G chord with your third and second finger. You're going to do the same idea, all four notes ring together, down, down. one is an F6 add 9 I think uh, and you use your first and your pinky I use my pinky it gets right in there and it doesn't block the D string um, and uh, sounds like this all these ring together and you go back to the G chord so you have A5 G F6 add 9 is three downs and one up. So down, 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 up, and down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. The next thing I'd, I'd recommend you do is, is practice five notes at a time. So you want to do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then you do the next set. One, two, three, four, I want you to do that is because uh, you want to connect to the next chord. You want to practice doing that. You don't want to do uh, four notes and then stop and then stop and then stop like that. This will help you train to connect to the next one. And once you get that transition, then you do eight notes. That one, you try from the G to the F. And then go through the F chord. And then back from the F chord to the G, and then the G back to the A. So you want to really work on connecting the chords. Um, after you've mastered the chords themselves, then you work on, you know, can I get from one chord to the next without missing a beat? And uh, I notice with my students a lot, they'll end up doing, you know, real fast through one chord and then stop and then stop. So that's what that uh, practice technique is for. All right, so one more time.